The Action Center in Windows 10 is the hotspot where you can see and manage all your system updates and app notifications, such as calendar reminders or new email messages. In Windows 10, the Action Center also doubles up as the place where you can quickly access your system settings directly without having to navigate around too much. You can access the Action Center by going to the far right corner of the window screen and clicking on the notepad like icon or by hitting the Windows and A keys. At the bottom of the Action Center, you can see four prominent tiles that give you quick access to the tablet mode, Bluetooth connectivity, notes and all settings. At the top of these tiles, you have the expand command which opens up a whole lot of additional settings. For instance, you can quickly manage your Bluetooth devices when you hit the Bluetooth tile, increase or decrease the brightness on your screen by repeatedly clicking on the brightness tile or turning your location services on or off. Let's collapse the quick access settings and get back to these top four tiles. Now you may not find all of these four tiles really useful. For instance, you may hardly have the need for the connect tile and would rather have something you use more often like the quiet hours tile show up instead. You can get Windows 10 to do that by going to all settings, selecting system and then clicking on the notifications and actions tab. At the top of the screen, you'll see that the four main tile icons from the Action Center are displayed here. Click the Connect icon and then select another option. In this case, I'm going to select Quiet Hours. Now when you open the Action Center, you'll see that Quiet Hours has replaced the Connect tile. The top of the Action Center is the Notifications area where system updates and alerts from different Windows applications reside. If a notification requires immediate attention, a banner will pop up on the screen. If you open the Action Center, you'll see that this notification is also displayed at the top of the panel. But the banner pop-up is discretionary and won't always show up for all notifications. So if you want to make sure that you don't miss out on important alerts, you'll have to tweak your settings a little bit. This way, you can also turn off unnecessary notifications from popping up as well. To do that, go to Settings, System and select the Notifications and Actions tab. If you scroll down the right pane, you'll see a list of apps that can send you notifications via banners and sounds. This list will grow as you keep using your PC. On my system, you can see all the notifications are enabled by default for all the apps. If you don't want to see notifications from any specific app, you can simply turn them off. I'm going to turn off the notifications for OneDrive and Dropbox. Now, although the mail app shows that the notifications are on, it does not guarantee that the banners will pop up for all the messages that I receive. It only indicates that the app has the permission to generate these alerts. So I may or may not receive banner alerts for all of my email messages. Another thing you'll notice about these settings is that they are available at a macro level. You don't have options to disable sounds and retain the banner pop-ups or vice versa. If you want to do that, you'll have to go to each individual app to set it up. Let's look at an example. Let's open up the mail app and go to settings. On the settings pane, select options. If you scroll down the options pane, you'll see that the notification section is turned on. Now, if you want your email messages to always show a banner, but you don't want to play a sound, you can check the appropriate checkbox. You'll have to set these micro level settings for each email account that you use. So you can set up your personal email account to show a banner, but not play a sound, while you can set up your work email to play a sound, but not display a banner. Now let's go back to the action center and to the notifications area. If you find that you've got notifications there that you don't want to see anymore, you can click the X button to get rid of it. If you want to clear up all the notifications on the screen, you can click the clear all link at the top of the action center. Now before I finish, I also want to show you how you can increase or decrease the time a notification displays on the screen. Go to settings, ease of access and select the other options tab. In the Show Notifications for section, click the drop down and select a timeline. So that's the long and short of how you can use the Action Center in Windows 10.